Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you want to see how I achieved this very pink, kind of glamorous, makeup look for a date night or just for fun with your girlfriends for Valentine's Day, then keep watching. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so I already have my foundation and my concealer and my powder and contour on. So in case you guys are wondering what I used for that, this is actually exactly what I used in my Tarte Shape Tape foundation review. So that is what I put on my face and now it is time to do the eyeshadow and the blush and the highlight and that to me is what changes. That's what makes it all Valentine's Day-ish. Plus I have my pink shirt on, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling, feeling the Valentine's Day vibes. Okay, so for this look, I like to combine matte and sparkle. So the first palette we're going to start out with is the BH Cosmetics palette. And I really like the pink and purple shades in this. So I'm going to go in with a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go into this light pink color right here. My eyelids are already primed with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So I'm just applying this everywhere. This is like my base. So I'm apply I was going to say one particular place, but now that I think about it, I'm pretty much applying it on my lid and up into my crease area just because I just want this to be my base shade. Okay, so now that we have our pink base on, we are going to choose another matte shade and this is going to be like our transition shade. I'm going to go in with this cool toned purpley mauvey color. I'm going to go in with this little fluffy brush. I've got to tap that excess off, girl. So I'm starting out in the corner like this, and I'm circling around, and then I'm kind of sweeping it, but I really just want to focus on that corner. And although this isn't much darker than that base shade we put on, it makes a difference after a little bit. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing with my next eye. So now we're going to go in with our darker crease color. And I'm going to use just a slightly smaller fluffy brush. I don't even know if you can tell that's smaller. But it is a little bit smaller and a little more dense. And I like to use that when I'm really trying to focus in on that outer V. And we are going to go in with this purpley color right here. It's really dark and really concentrated. So, so I'm going to tap this brush. I'm going to tap it. Yeah, okay. I'm going to just really focus right here. And I am going on to the lid and I'm staying just really right in that little outer V. I feel like I make the weirdest expressions when I put on makeup. And then to just blend it out, we're going to take it not add more color onto this brush and just swoosh it gently swoosh it <laughs> gently into the rest of the crease on the inner side okay in circular motions because circular motions is what helps blend it best okay so that's not obviously fully blended but it's 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 you know I'm working with it. I do have to say this color is a little bit patchier than I'd like it to be, but do not worry. Glitter saves lives. We, we're gonna come back with our glittery shades and everything is gonna be just fine. Okay, so now it is time to go in with the shimmers with, ta-da, of course, the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. Would it be any other palette? This is just the perfect Valentine's Day palette. I remember I wore this for my birthday last year, maybe even the year before. I don't know how long I've had this palette. These shades are just gorgeous. Gorgeous. So I'm going to go in with a flat brush like this. And this is already dedicated to the sparkles, as you can see. And I'm going to wet it. Wet it with just water. You can wet it with your primer spray there we go there 
there we go so I am going to go in first thing with this color dust it's this very pearlescent light pink so Valentine's Day if you ask me and with the wet side of my brush I'm going to just get all that on there and I'm going to press it on the inner part of my eyelid, so the inner to middle, okay? These little flecks of pink sparkles are so cute and feminine and just, they're really, I don't know, it's just very Valentine's Day to me. Which, by the way, is my birthday. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. So I just like to build it by tapping it on long on my eyes. So I just tap, 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 tap. I'm realizing now as I'm doing this that I'm really preferring talking and recording at the same time as opposed to like doing a voiceover. That's what I've done for the last two makeup looks. I don't even know why I did it. I just, just did it. And I really enjoy like just being able to like chill and talk and like... I don't know, I just enjoy it. And being able to just say the steps as I do them and not like have to like talk really fast and fit it all into my edited video. Anyway, let me know if you guys like this style of makeup tutorial. Now we're moving into the middle to the outer lid. So we're gonna first go in with the color Liar. And this is like a champagne pink. Just, oh, it's beautiful. Let me, let me swatch it, okay? It's gorgeous. Okay. You may want to re-wet your brush again for this. I did this. I just find that when I wet my brush and I tap it in, the pigment is, it's popping. It's so, it's so there to shine. So for our last shimmer color, we are going in with the color Buzz. And that is this color right here, this pink color well loved as you can see this is a very pink very sparkly color i don't know if you're noticing a theme but if you haven't it's pink and it's sparkly okay so we're gonna take this oh yeah and i'm using I'm using this little brush okay so i can be really precise we're just loading it onto here on this outer corner okay so next, I'm gonna go in with a little flat brush like this, and I'm going to go in with a matte color. For my BH Cosmetics palette, I'm going in with this white color mixed with this cream color. I'm going to apply it right underneath my brows. Shocker. There we go. So now it is time to blend and I'm going to go back in with this little fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend to my heart's content and obviously some of that glitter is going to ride up into the crease that is okay it's all about blending that matte crease with the shimmery lid it's just it's so pretty if I just say so myself <laughs> Okay, so now it is time for the brows. I am going in with my NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, and this is in the shade Chocolate. How appropriate! Valentine's Day Chocolate. And I just on a whim decided to do this brow gel. So the first thing I like to do when I'm doing brow gel for my brows is I go in with this little guy, this little angled brow brush, and with this. And I, I, I glean some from off of there. And I outline the eyebrows, okay? Hand wiggle. Hand wiggle. Ooh, don't we look good together? Liney, 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 line. I like to line my eyebrows. And then I just go up, 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 up. <laughs> to create the illusion of fake, thicker hair. And then I go in with my brow gel. 
Okay, y'all, so brows are done. Um, they look a little extreme right now. I always feel like they look extreme until I have some mascara on my face. And uh, I'm definitely going with eyeliner for this look. So I'm gonna go with this dark brown eyeliner. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner in dark brown. What do you know? This is fairly straightforward, um, but still at the same time, continually terrifying because I find liquid eyeliner always a pain, but it's beautiful, so. I really try to make sure that I don't line too far into my eye. I like to stop right about here and not like down there. Um, Cause I noticed it gives more of like a flirty, open-eyed flare look to my eyes. Okay, so eyeliner is done and now it is time to put on my mascara. And I am going in with the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. Oh my gosh, I said it correctly in one try. That is amazing. And I use the color Very Black, I believe it's called. Yeah, Very Black. <laughs> put it on the mascara. Now that we have mascara on, I want to take this little brush again. I'm gonna take this palette and I'm gonna go in with the color Nooner. And I am going to very just gently sweep it under my eyes. It's gonna meet up with over in that crease. I'm brushing away the fallout from the eyeshadow with this little fan brush. That's my trick, I always do that. Does anyone else notice that they get eyeshadow like in their eyes when they go under the eye? So now we are going to take our mascara and just quickly put some on the under eyelashes. Okay, well my camera just died, so as you can see, the lighting is a little different. I look a little more blue, um, I'm sorry about that. But I finished my mascara, I did two coats of that, and I put some along the bottom lash line. So the last three things we have to do is blush, highlight, and lips. So for blush, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay in Blushing Bride. And this is a very soft pink, and I thought it was pretty fitting. A nice gentle pink. I always have to smile when I put my blush on. Next we're going in with highlight and I'm going to use my Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette and in the very center is this highlight shade. Wow this palette looks really messy. I'm gonna go in with this dome brush that I always use for my highlight. And this is just a very pearly highlight. That's the best way I can describe it. It's very pearly. I have mixed feelings about Tarte's highlight because sometimes it can have pretty thick chunks of sparkles. But you know what? This one is not so much like this. This is a little more finely milled. Um, it definitely has that iridescent pearly look to it. Okay, now now we glow in, and I put some, a very little bit, <laughs> down the bridge of my nose, and I like to put some with my finger on my cupid's bow. Okay, and we are on to our very last step, and that is the lips. So I, before I put any lip product on, whether I'm just going with a sheer lip gloss, a tinted lip balm, lipstick, I always like to use a lip scrub because it really just clears off all the foundation and it plumps up my lips and exfoliates them and just kind of really preps them for whatever it is I end up going with or even if I don't go with anything at all, it makes my lips look like they're existing. You guys may already know that I love the diva stuff edible, eatable, lip scrubby in cinnamon clove. And it's just so yummy. So there, do you see how much more color is on my lips now that I've exfoliated them? They're actually alive. At this point, it's really up to you. You could choose to use a matte lipstick. Um, you could go with pink or red. 
You could go with a nude. My personal preference is a tinted lip balm for this look. I don't know why, I just feel like with more dramatic eyes, I don't really need too bright of a lipstick. So I'm going with this Baby Lips Tinted Lip Balm in Yummy Plummy. How cute is that? And I just really like the color of this. It kind of already is the color of my lips. It might be a little bit pinker. Very understated, um, but if anything, it's there to just, you know, moisturize my lips and um, give it a little bit more of a pinky color. And of course, we have to set this off with my setting spray, the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus that I kind of low-key hate. All right, and that is it. What do you guys think? This is the final look. I think it's really blushy pinky, um, but it is sparkly and it's still pretty soft. I love the pinks in it. I am such a pink girl, so I think this goes really well with a pink shirt or, or not. I think honestly can stand alone. So I hope you guys have a fantastic Valentine's Day, whatever you're doing, whether you're a single Pringle staying at home just chilling or you're going on a date with your man. I hope you have a great day. It's, again, it's my birthday. I don't know if I already said that. If you do like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and why not hit subscribe? That would be awesome. Join the family. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep smiling and have a wonderful day.